Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this, the Dublin Senior County Final, where ourselves Ballyboden take on St. Vincent's. Today uh, as it stands, it has stopped raining, there is quite a breeze out. It looks like Ballyboden are uh, playing into the breeze in the first half. The team as it stands shows one change. The team, PJ Dunahoo in goal. The backs, Benny Ryan, Jack Russell, Pat Herbert. The half backs, Tom Phillips, P Captain Paddy O'Neill and John Cummins. Centre field is Terry O'Neill and Ken Murray. Ken Murray comes in in replace of Stephen McGrath. The half forwards are Tony Marr, Shamie O'Neill and Sean Herbert. Our full forward line today is Tommaso Reardon, John Hayes and Brendan Marr. The Vincent's team play as selected. The referee for today's game is John Bailey. As I say, the, the rain has certainly cleared. It, it is quite blustery. Ballyboden playing into the wind. So it appears we're all set here. Referee checking with his linesman. Yes, everybody's in position. And now we have our on the vein. Very good crowd here this afternoon, well in excess of three, four thousand people. So as we start off, it's Tommaso Ridden with his early taken free, hitting into a very, very strong wind. It appears to be blowing across the pitch. And that and that's straight over the black spot for the first score for Tommaso Ridden and Bally Bowden St. Enders. So the Vincent's puck it out. Well batted down there at centre field. John Cummings going, he keeps it in play. Sean Herbert slipping slightly. A fair shoulder enough there from Ken Murray. Well blocked down by John Cummings. Still in play with Pat Herbert. Pat looks, yes. Straight up the field. Dropping for Brendan Marr. Brendan is through. Brendan using his head wisely there, keeping everybody out of trouble. And that's a very well taken score there, a very well taken score for Ballyboden St. Enders. Settling in very nicely into the game. Remember we're playing against a very, very strong breeze. Dropping at centre field there, Ken Murray, Captain Paddy O'Neill out to chase. Pat Herbert has it yet again. Pat settling in very nicely, dropping for Brendan. Brendan will let it go straight into John Hayes. John Hayes has it. Very nicely taken. Is that going straight over? 
It's a lovely score from Brennan Marr. Ballyboden have really settled into it in the early stages. I reckon that's two of the three forwards after scoring there. So we'll have no complaints at this stage. Ballyboden three, St. Vincent's no score. A big battle here with our big Ken Murray centre field. Referee waiting for the ball to be given back. Vital this afternoon, our battle at centre field with Ken Murray. Ken marking Vincent Conroy. Little push there. Very well spotted by John Bailey. Benny Ryan comes out to take this one. There is actually a change in the in the forward line there for Vincent. I'll tell you about it now in a second. So we have Benny Ryan on the 50. Oh, well driven ball in there, dropping very, very dangerously. John Hayes appears to be under it. Very nicely caught. It's two to and a lovely score. That appeared to be Tony Marr. Yes, indeed, Tony Marr is four. Vincent's no score. I think Ballyboden can feel quite happy at this stage after settling in. Vincent's yet really to penetrate the Ballyboden defence. Dropping here between Potty O'Neill, Potty. Well double on there by the Vincent's player. Bit of confusion there, I would appear to. Very awkwardly for PJ. So it's a green flag for St. Vincent's. A very unkind bounce there. So Vincent's have got maximum from their first real attack on the Ballyboden goal. PJ pucks out, it's a good puck out, it's low, finding, finding Tony Marr, Tony playing up the wing to Tomas. Tomas are in lifts, looking up for someone to hit it into, lovely ball from, it's out to John Hayes, John Hayes has it, appears to have it, Brendan Marr, lovely play by Brendan Marr, John Hayes has it, there's a big melee up there, yes, the referee has given a free into Ballyboden, a Vincent's man has appeared to handle the ball on the ground. So Tomas are in to push Ballyboden further ahead, taking his time. The wind, as he suggests, would be blowing from left to right. Steadies himself. And straight over the black spot for Tomas O'Riordan again. So Ballyboden now lead five points to St. Vincent's one goal. An intriguing midfield pairing there between Ken Murray and Vincent Conroy. Well cut out there by Tony O'Neill. Bally Bowden appeared to be keeping it on the ground going in. That has gone out for a sideline ball for Vincent's. It's beginning to cloud over here at Parnell Park. However, as the rain stays off, the wind still as blustery as ever. Vincent's with the sideline ball. Looks like it's cut out well, stopped well there by Paddy, by Paddy O'Neill into Dalton. Ken Murray, closely guarded by Ken Murray. Tom Phillips, Ken Murray, yes, he, 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 they're blocking way to goal. And that's just narrowly wide there from Vincent's. Sean McDermott there. Shepherded well by Tom Phillips originally and then by Ken. So again, PJ facing into a very strong breeze with this puck out. I'm sure his intentions are to keep it low. Indeed they are, yes. Between Pat Herbert into Terry O'Neill. Terry O'Neill nicely doubled on. Uh, Vincent's there appear to be here in numbers. Brendan Marr follows. John Cummins, Paddy O'Neill. John Cummins appears to have it. Pat Herbert out doing a masterful job there. Blocked down slightly. Again he gets his chance. Let's it go. That's lovely, lovely hurling from Pat Herbert. Brother Sean is out helping there in centre field. Referee spots a late infringement there. So Vincent's have a free here. I would suggest about 30 yards, 35 yards out. Shane Dalton steadying himself for this. And it appears to be a point, yes indeed. 
Score now reads Ballyboden five points, St. Vincent's a goal and one point. Remember Ballyboden playing into a very strong breeze in the first half. PJ steadies himself now for the puck out. He'll be looking to find Terry O'Neill, Ken Murray centre field. Well doubled on there, that's a lovely strike from Tony Marr looks appears appears to be yes, he he's lifted. And gone wide. Referee signals that the ball was out of play. Puck out must be retaken. A very bright start to this, the Darling Dublin County Championship. Ken Murray well in there, lovely. Ken has it again. Let it go, first time on the ground, Ken, that's it. Tony Marr has it, oh, that, that, that's a wild strike there from a Vincent's player. John Hayes out to sea. Vincent's well on the attack here with Shane Dalton. Nicely stopped. Over the bar eventually there, off Jack Russell one would feel. So the sides are level. PJ Dunhu with the puck out yet again. This time low, looking, searching for Terry O'Neill. Nicely double on there from Tomas O'Reardon. Nicely blocked there again by Tomas O'Reardon. Left it. Ball dropping harmlessly wide there, well shepherded by PJ Donahue. PJ really hasn't had a whole lot to do, unfortunately. Only to pick the ball out of the net. An unkind bounce gave Vincent a, a goal. Ball breaking midfield, Paddy O'Neill letting it go on the ground. An advisable thing given the conditions. Referee blows up, signals attention, it appears to be for Sean Herbert. So I think Ballyboden can feel quietly happy with themselves. Vincent's appear to be uh, getting into the game more and more. Ali Bowden forwards functioning very very well indeed. I think of the three there in the forward line, Brendan Marr, John Hayes and Tomas O'Rudin, all have raised the flag. Tony Marr listening to words of advice there given by the Vincent's man to Damien Allen. I'm sure Tony will take heed of them. Stoppages for an injury received to Sean Herbert. It appears Tomas has changed wings there. One would have to say it's been a, a very interesting opening to this game. Plenty of scores despite the conditions. Sean Herbert appears to be all right. He's weathered that knock. Yes, Sean a bit shook, but I'm sure he'll, he'll weather the storm. Referee throws in the ball to Ken Murray. Ken Murray has it. Can I let it in? Well taken out of the air there by Paddy O'Neill, putting Vincent's on 
under immense pressure there from its centre back. Brendan Marr in hot pursuit here. Ball dropping, breaking to Pat Herbert. Pat stopping. And there's a leading score for Vincent's. Well taken from centre field was it Shane Dalton. So the score now reads St. Vincent's 1-3, Ballyboden 5 points. So only a point separates the teams. PJ in no hurry whatsoever to take the puck out. Referee signals to... PJ getting better distance now into this ball. Well hooked there. Terry O'Neill bursting through. Well taken. Tom Phillips seems to have this one covered. Pursued by Shane Dalton. That, that looks like it's a Ballyboden ball indeed it is, yes. Gone off there to Vincent's man. Referee noticing a, a little bit of a niggle there. Calling Shane Dalton and Tom Phillips together. One would have to say it has been a, a very clean contest so far. So Mr. Bailey not taking any nonsense whatsoever in the early stages of this match. John Cummins with the sideline ball. Well struck by John Cummins, looking for Brendan Marr. Ball dangerously near the corner flag. Paddy O'Neill covering a lot of ground there. And dropping ball into the St. Mendes, Paddy Bowden St. Mendes box. A brilliant reflex save there from PJ Dunhu. A marvellous save. Goal written all over and then PJ gets a stick to put it over the bar. I'm sure he'll feel quite happy after that. It's really the first thing PJ has been called in to do and done it quite effectively. So, giving themselves the chance of a puck out. Looking for Terry O'Neill. Terry has got to it. Slipping there, Tony Marr lets it go in. Tony Marr out to Brendan Marr. Brendan strikes. And that looks very good, that's a great score from Brendan Marr. Bringing Ballyboden to within one point again. Ballyboden six points, St. Vincent's a goal and four. The crowd, the crowd is growing in size all the time. Not a great puck out, still finds Tony Nealon dropping dangerously again for Ballyboden. Pat Herbert out, Ken Murray has it. That referee allows advantage there for the foul on Ken Murray. Ken takes it away out of the danger area, covering a lot of ground, Ken. Ken over catches it there actually, three catches, so referee John Bailey awards Vincent's a free out. It's almost on the 40 over in the corner. I'm sure the Ballyboden bench are feeling quite confident at this stage, quite happy. Jack Russell is out, Paddy O'Neill, Terry appears to be racing onto this one. Covering, Vincent's man slips. Turning in towards goal. Slipping again. Pat Herbert doing a tremendous job there. Out to Paddy O'Neill, Tony Marr. A lot of congestion over there. Vincent's break, the ball clear. Blocked well there by Pat Herbert, who's having a tremendous game at corner back. And that's a marvellous score there from Vincent's. Vincent's leading again by 1-5 to Ballyboden's 1-6. Sorry, Vincent's 1-5, Ballyboden's 6 points. PJ shouting instructions as ever for the backs to keep it tight. Paddy O'Neill playing a blinder. Ball drops in now between Tomas Arud and John Hayes. John Hayes racing, no, John is staying inside. Tony Marr has it. Well positioned for Tomas to take it down. Tony Marr has it. And that's a marvellous score, I believe, from Tony Marr. No, it's just drifted off there at the very last moment. 
That would be only Ballyboden's second wide of the game. PJ comes racing out to clear, finds John Cummins. Party, Tony Marr. Ball dropping again, Jack Russell out under this one. Clears effectively. That one drops dangerously. No, it's drifted wide. The wind catching it there. So the Bally Bowden back line appears to be holding up very, very well indeed. There's an actual sub on the sub on the new. That's Stephen McGrath. Stephen McGrath appears to be going in for yes, Sean Herbert. Stephen McGrath in for Sean Herbert, who picked up a, an injury there. Cannot see the extent of the injury. So Stephen McGrath gets his chance. John Cummins cutting that one out very neatly indeed, letting it go on the ground. Ken Murray. That's a beautiful strike from Ken Murray. John Hayes, under John Hayes. It's appeared to have gone wide, yes indeed. Umpire signaling wide ball. So Stephen McGrath operating at half forward in place of the injured Sean Herbert. Ken Murray batting this one, breaking to Paulie O'Neill. Paulie lets it go again. Tomas O'Reilly underneath it, letting it go. Into, into John Hayes. Brendan Marr appears to have this one. Sideline ball, Bally Bowden. Tony Marr out to take this one. I'm sure Bally Bowden will be looking for a score. They've allowed Vincent to come back slightly in this match. That's a dangerous looking ball. Referee, a free out there for a high tackle. John Hayes hasn't had a whole lot to do. That's well taken out of the air by Pat, uh, Tom Phillips. Tom letting it go. An effective enough clearance. Tony Marr now operating around centre field. The wind has certainly picked up. Appears to be blowing a cross field. Ball gone wide. Going in off of Vincent's man. Again, the Ballyboden rear guard holding tight. Have allowed very little room to the Vincent's forward line, who great things are expected of. Ball dropping under Tony Marr, Ken Murray, Vincent's man coming away with the ball, Tom Phillips has it, Tom will let it go, John Cummings racing after this one, Shane Dalton, Pat Herbert, cleared out over the line actually by Shane Dalton, Pat Herbert committing himself even without a hurley. So John Cummins taking this sideline cut for Ballyboden. St. Vincent's won five, Ballyboden six points. Only two points separate the teams. We've tw played in... 20 minutes of play gone. Vincent's clearing their lines, stopped by Ken Murray. Stephen McGrath. Stephen will let this up along the line. Dropping out over the sideline there. Linesman signals Vincent's ball. Stevens first touch really. In for Sean Herbert. Brendan Marr breaking actually away with the ball there. 
And I'm winning a sideline ball. Well done, Brendan Marr. Tony Marr, namesake but no relation, coming over takes this one. So Tomas O'Reilly has actually been signalled to come out and take this one. We're not sure whether it's a free here now. It appears Tomas' usual stance for the free, indeed it is. Steadying himself, hitting into a, a very awkward breeze. And a lovely, well taken score there from Tomas O'Reilly. Tomas playing his usual normal game. Steady on the freeze. So, Ballyboden, seven points, St. Vincent's won five, a single point separates the team. Almost 22 minutes of the game gone. Vincent's with the puck out. Breaking to centre field, Ken Murray, yes. Slipping out of Ken's hand, he gets a second chance indeed. Battling away in there, Paddy O'Neill has it. Paddy doing the sensible thing, on the ground. Drifts up towards our corner here on the right hand side, gone out over the line, sideline ball to Vincent's. And Tony Neal on taking this one. Tony Marr now in close attendance there. Gone through there for Stephen McGrath. Stephen dropping it in. Tomas O'Reilly under this one. Catches it lovely. A well taken score there from Bally Borden. Well manufactured from Tomas O'Reilly doing the sensible thing. A little hand pass out to Brendan Marr, and Brendan, as usual, as reliable, straight over the black spot. So Ballybone have drawn level. Eight points to 1-5. There's Timber flying there, centre field. Paddy O'Neill. Terry doing the sensible thing, almost being blocked down. Pat Herbert. Pat lets it go, first time. Into John Hayes. John Hayes has it into Tomas. Tomas picks off a beautiful score there. Worked well by John Hayes. An unkind bounce and yet the little hand pass sees Tomas O'Reilly add to Ballyboden's tally. Ballyboden 9 points. St. Vincent's 1-5. Playing against the strong breeze. Ballyboden more than happy. Dropping centre field. Ken Murray batting. Again Ken gets a second bite. Sensible thing by Ken Murray. Ground hurling. Tony Marr racing to this one. Sideline ball. Sideline beats Tony. So Damien Allen with the sideline ball here. Tony Marr in close attendance. That's gone straight out. So Bally Bowden with the sideline ball. Tony Marr taking this one. Ken Murray giving words of encouragement there by Terry O'Neill to lift it. I don't think we can have any complaints with Ken's contribution so far. Vincent's man breaking away here in attendance by Terry O'Neill. Jack Russell. Taken by. PJ coming away, playing a stormer as our PJ. Dependable as ever. Lands out over the sideline here, straight on centre field. Again, Tony Marr in close attendance. PJ well covering on that shot. Bouncing nicely for Paddy O'Neill. Paddy will let it go first time. Going in off Paddy actually with another sideline ball here for Vincent's. Ken Murray. One midfield. Well merited his place here at centre field. That's a nice ball. Dangerous ball for Bally Bowden. Cut out. Well saved again by PJ. And a, and a goal, a goal, dangerous breaking ball. The Ballyboden men thinking appealing for a square ball. However, the umpire. The green flag goes up, Ballyboden nine points. St. Vincent's two goals and two goals and five. 
two points in it. PJ with the puck out. 26 and a half minutes gone. Ball breaks through to Brendan. Having a, a nice nice game there. Paddy O'Neill in. Terry O'Neill, his brother in assistance. This ball looks like, will this be the Vincent's man for pace? No, an actual fight. Kept well in. Harmlessly driven wide there. Referee calling Pat Herbert an actual fight for a tackle there. Allowing the advantage there for Vincent's. So Pat's name goes into the book. Very harmless. Vincent's man receiving attention. Not too sure who it is at this stage. Our view is obstructed here. So referee John Bailey has allowed the game to flow as best as best he can. So it appears Michael Loftus up and running again. PJ with the puck out, hoping to find Ken Murray. Ball, that's a good puck out for PJ. Stephen McGrath doubling there. Stephen McGrath battling as ever. Pat Herbert takes this one out of the air, lets it go. The old football. The football not coming in there very nicely for Pat Herbert. Pat, a strong warrior as ever. Tomaso Reardon running out to take this one. I'm sure Tomas will be more than happy to drop it over the black spot. Steadies himself. The usual O'Reardon stance. Hitting into the breeze, left to right. Tomas lifts, strikes. This one is high. And this one is straight over as usual to Mandible Tomas. So the score now reads St. Vincent's 2 12, 2 6, 12 points. We follow the action at the moment. The scoreboard appears to read 2 5 to 10. John Hayes under this one. Battling away as ever, John Hayes. He'll be covered here by Ken Murray. Ken, Ken pulling first time. Terry O'Neill covering. Out goes Benny Ryan. Benny as ever. Clearing away, Tom Phillips has it. Tom will get his second chance at the app. Closely shielded there by Tony Marr. This one drops, it appears to be dropping again for... And referee John Bailey signals a free in. Shane Dalton appeared to me to have that ball and be over carrying it, but referee John Bailey gives him a free. Score, Ballyboden 10 points, St. Vincent's two, two goals, five points. Shane Dalton is happy enough to settle for the, fr for the point. So the score now reads, St. Vincent's two goals, six points, Bally Bowden ten points, with almost 29 and a half, coming up on the half hour mark. PJ with a long puck out, a good puck out. Ball breaks. Ball kept nicely in play there. John Hayes has it. John Hayes is inside. John Hayes racing through, racing clear, John Hayes and taken off a stick very nicely there by a Vincent's man. There was goal written on that, but for the interception of the Vincent's man. So Tomas are reading now to take the 65. Almost on the centre field marking. Will Tomas drop this one or will be happy to take his point? Lifts, strikes. Appears to be sailing over. Wide, just dropped off, tailed off there. I think that's Tomas' first actual miss on goal. So the referee signals half time. 
half time sees Buddy Bowden 10 points, St. Vincent's 2 6. Right. So as we come back for the second half, Vincent's yet to appear from the dressing room. Buddy Bowden do appear to have an advantage with the wind. However, it seems to have blowing across the field as of late. I would suggest whatever advantage is there, we would fancy Bally Bowden. I see Bally Bowden have made a change. Niall O'Reardon has come on in place of Tom Phillips. Niall O'Reardon playing at number 17 there. I would imagine Nelly will go in corner back. He might, he might be on the half. So Bally Bowden have made two changes. Midway through the first half, Pat Herbert, Sean Herbert, I say, I should say, came off in what appeared to be a nasty injury. Replacing him was Stephen McGrath. So the second sub on, Niall O'Reardon is on for Tom Phillips, playing at number 17. He plays at left half back. So referee John Bailey, Terry and Ken Murray there at centre field. Referee checking, everything in order, are waiting for the Vincent's goalkeeper to arrive at his destination. We'll all be hoping here from a Ballyboden point of view that he'll have some picking out to do there of that net. We're looking for Tomas Arudin to rattle the net. So there's been a change in the forward line. Tomas Arudin has gone in full forward while John Hayes has gone out. The ball dropping in nicely there. Tomas Arudin. Breaking ball there. Cleared by the Vincent's man. Centre field. Doubled on there. Shane Dalton out on his own there. Pursued by John Cummins. Dalton looks up. That's a good and dangerous ball. Referee, there seems to be a bit of a melee in there. PJ Dunahoo, it seems to be a bit of a free for all. Referee will call on his linesman to separate these boys. So, full of drama here in the opening stages of the second half. Referee having a word with his umpire. PJ's possibly saying a prayer there, I think. So, John Bailey's decision. Appears to be taking a few names in there. Calling PJ Donahue aside and also the number 13 there for Vincent McLoftus. So a bit of pencil work or paperwork there for John Bailey early in the second half. PJ Donahue and Michael Loftus' names goes into the book. So he's possibly giving a throw in on the 21. High drama at the opening stages of this second half. Paddy Bowden 10 points, Vincent's 2-6. Two, two points separate the team. Referee instructs. A bit of pulling there. Murray doing tremendous work there in the centre of the fence. Well cleared there by... Paddy Bowden functioning very well, on by Tony Marr. Tony under for Brendan. Cutely laid back for Brendan from, for Shamie O'Neill. Ball dropping in. Dropping, dropping and drops just wide. Referee telling people to calm things down. So Reardon covering the goalkeeper's options there, allowing him little or no room whatsoever. Tony Marr drives another ball in, this time well under. John Hayes pursuing the goalkeeper. He delivers a nice ball there. Vincent's Pat Herbert's out under this one. Taken off a stick by his own man there, Paddy O'Neill. Sensible thing to do under the circumstances. Terry O'Neill battling hard there, Ken Murray. Oh, a high tackle, appeared to be a high tackle there from a Vincent's man. 
Brendan Marr. Falling at the vital time. Terry O'Neill covering this. Out comes Benny Ryan. Benny has it. He's breaking away there. So Dalton. PJ has it. Covered. Lovely picked out of the air there by PJ. Delivering a ball that's dropping between Stephen McGrath. McGrath pulling hard. Pulling hard but fair. Nelly O'Reardon is out. Covering a lot of ground. Niall. Reduces the option for the Vincent's man who drops the ball harmlessly wide. Great covering there from Niall O'Reardon. A vital piece of running there. Enough to put the Vincent's man off his stroke. So a referee again having words with his umpires. Something may be happening in there that we're unaware of. So John Bailey comes strutting out. He appears to be heading in the direction of the fullback, Jack Russell, having a word with the Vincent's. Vincent's number, number 10, Stephen Loftus. So we'll follow the play again. PJ Donahue here with the puck out. Breeze has died down ever so slightly. PJ complaining that the players there aren't 21 yards. So PJ's puck out. It's a good one. It's dropping on the Vincent's 40. And Murray races out. Nicely doubled on there by Ken. Covering there by PJ. PJ's out. Again, a nice clearance from PJ. Another bit of Marley there. <laughs> Referee calling the two players again. A bit of niggle at the early stages of this second half. Pat Herbert and a sub there, number 22 on the Vincent's team. Is Robert Mulvaney. We were following play, we didn't actually see what happened there. The referee orders the St. Vincent's mentors and first aid men off the field. However, he's having a word. And that Vincent's man appears to have been given his marching orders, indeed he has. So the Vincent's man has got his marching orders, Robert, Robert Mulvaney and Pat Herbert. Yes, indeed, Pat Herbert has been sent off. An off the ball instance there. So both players walking to their respective benches. I would suggest slightly dejected. However, we'll follow play. So referee waits for Pat Herbert to head towards the Valley Bowden bench. So a non-satisfactory start to this, the second half. A good long chat there with his umpire. So John Bailey, again, I would suggest is going to give a throw in between the two. Indeed he is. So we get back onto the hurling, the score 10 points to 2-6 for Vincent's. That's a point for a Vincent's man. A goal separates the teams. St. Vincent's 2-7, Barry Bowden 10 points. So a little over eight minutes gone in the second half. A lot of stoppage time in that, I'm afraid. PJ with the puck out. It's dropping nicely here. And the 40, pulled on, Brendan Maher, John Cummins out for this one. Nicely taken out of the way there of the Vincent's man. Dalton doing a lot of groundwork there. Taken out. And that's a lovely taken point there from close in on the, on the halfway mark there by Vincent's. So Bally Bowden not settling as well in the first, second half as they had done in the first. Oh, yeah. 
So PJ again with the puck out. This one will drop on the 40, the Vincent's 40. Terry O'Neill is there. Terry pulling. Vincent's. This one appears to be heading towards the sideline. Benny Ryan out here covering well. And that one drifts out wide. No, kept in play by PJ. PJ will look to pick out the spare belly button man. Tony Marr has it. Giving out to Terry O'Neill. Terry driving this one in. This one will. This will. Yes, a free in. A, re, a late tackle there, spotted well by John Bailey. So the referee signals a, a free in to Bally Bowden on the 21 mar, yard line. Our free taking Supremo, Tomaso Reardon, comes out. I'm sure he'd be happy to put his name on the door in the second half. I'd be quite content to go for his point. Early in the second half, Tomas lifts, strikes, and drives it straight over the bar to put Bally Bowden back in contention, really. Bally Bowden, 11 points. St. Vincent's. 2-8, 14 to 11. The ball has been retrieved. I'm sure there will be stoppage time at the end of this game. So, Bally Bowden, John Cummins out to that one. Doubles on it. That one heads out. about 30 yards out from the Vincent's goal. The wind, it's picked up again. Been trying totally on this one. Tom Quinn taking his time for Vincent's. Brendan Marr close in attendance with Ali Bowden. A nice ball that will suggest to go out, straight out over the end line. John Cummins appears to be taking this sideline ball for Bally Bowden, almost on halfway. We're about 11 minutes into the game. Ken Murray in there doing a bit of battling. Terry O'Neill, oh, and that appears to be... That was a nasty stroke there by the Vincents, man. I think referee will have a word with Damien Allen there for a deliberate strike of the player on the ground. So a serious word here for Damien Allen by referee John Bailey. Indeed his name is going into the book. I would suggest that he's quite lucky to get away with that. However, having been warned. So. Tomas O'Reardon steadies himself for this one. Dropping it, dropping it, dropping it, dropping. Kept in play there in actual fact by Brendan Marr. Cleared by John Cummins down the far side line there. Has just gone out. Ball well kept in play there from Tomas's free by Brendan Marr. Nelly O'Reardon clearing a nice ball down to brother Tom. Tomas. Ball is on the ground there between the two. Referee will give this as a throw in. Nile O'Reardon there with a nice clearance. Almost finding brother Tomas. So the throw in on the almost on the about 24, 25 yards out from the Vincent's goal. Referee telling only one in from the throw in. Hurley's on the ground, man. And it's pulling there. That's cleared by the Vincent's man. This one out. Paulie O'Neill is racing out to this. Clears nicely. A lovely bit of clearance there. And again, a bit of niggle coming into this game. Another off the ball instance there. Referee unaware of what has preceded so Polly O'Neill playing out of his skin here in the second half
So Tommaso Rudin all the way out, almost on the halfway line. The score, St. Vincent's 2-8, 14 to Bally Bowden's 11. Vincent's man arguing there. And indeed, yes, the referee has taken an extra 10 yards. I'm sure Tomas will be even more happier than that. So, with 15 minutes gone, Tomas O'Reardon steadies himself to put Bally Bowden within two points of St. Vincent's. He lifts, strikes, looking good from our end here. Indeed it is, it's dropped over the bar. So Bally Bowden very much in contention. It's Bally Bowden 12, St. Vincent's 2-8, 14 plays 12. 16 minutes gone, second half. I would say a lot for stoppage though. So Ken Murray under this one. John Cummins, marshalling well with Shane Dalton. Following him back there. A referee awards a free in there for a tackle by John Cummins on Shane Dalton. The sun is trying to break through here. Blustery enough, but the rain has held off, so we're grateful. We can hear Joe Gleason's voice here in the background. I'm sure Joe would like to be wearing the colours of Ballyboden out there, giving the timber. However, this one has dropped over the bar, and St. Vincent's go back into a three point lead. St. Vincent's 2 9, Bally 12 points. So a very even contest here. Perhaps St. Vincent's have got the breaks when they've counted. However, it's early stages yet. Second half, 15 minutes, 16 minutes old. Paddy O'Neill covering out for this one. No messing around here. And this one has, in actual fact, gone over the bar. So St. Vincent put four points between them. 18 minutes into the second half. The hurling has picked up yet again, where it left off from a tremendous first half. With the puck out. It's going to drop here on our 40. Stephen McGrath underneath it. Batted down by the Vincent's man. Benny Ryan out. PJ Dunahoo with a, with a marvellous clearance again. Tony Marr. Tony has it. Hurled it there. Shepherded by four or five Vincent's men. Niall O'Reilly now thundering after this ball. Kept hit on nicely there for the Vincent's man. Ken Murray's clearance. Rolling out here over the sideline and going just out. We're here on the halfway mark. 20 minutes of this game gone. St. Vincent's 2-10, Ballyboden 12 points. Ballyboden had a severe loss here with the loss of Pat Herbert. However, tremendous pulling there. Paddy O'Neill is out after this. Great covering Paddy O'Neill. To 11 to 12, Vincent's advanced on their lead. PJ is ever shouting instructions. Keep it tight. So, 22 minutes gone. Deal with the puck out. Terry O'Neill under this one. Paul racing out here over towards us on the corner flag. Vincent's man covering there. Jack Russell, Shane Dalton holding it up, and Nelly O'Reardon cuts that one out of the danger area. Nelly is out after this one, tearing out there at Vincent's man comes up with the ball, and that's a nice score from St. Vincent's. St. Vincent's 2-12, Ballyboden 12 points. 
I'm sure we'll be looking for a goal from the Ballyboden forward division. The wind is swirling here. Appears to be blowing straight across the pitch. There's a sub on the team. It appears to be Eamon Oldham. Eamon has given an instruction for Party to resume in the in the back division. John Cummins has come on for John Cummins is going off to play for Eamon O'Sullivan who will have a close close marking job to do on Shane Dalton to curb his antics. Breaking that one, breaking to it. A Vincent's man, however. And there's another well taken score from So Manny Bowden appeared to have used our subs, putting in Eamon O'Reardon on Shane Dalton. Kenny Ryan and advancing back to the old position. And for Eamon O'Reardon's first touch to the ball. That's sorry, not to most, Stephen McGrath certainly has put a bit of life back into this game for Bally Bowden. Stephen not hesitating and blasting that one to the back of the net. There, set up originally by Eamon O'Reardon. Bally Bowden far from out of this game. Eamon O'Reardon, he let it go again. That's nice play by Eamon O'Reardon. Into John Hayes. Almost a second within a minute there for Bowden. Cleared, cleared by the Vincent's men. Vincent's under a bit of a pressure here now. Eamon O'Reardon chasing Sean Dalton. Appears to have taken a lot of steps out of the ball there. Wide. So Bally Bowden ever so close there to closing the door on Vincent's. So Bally Bowden far from out of this one yet. <laughs> Harmlessly wide again from the Vincent's men. Bally Bowden will almost try to sustain the pressure. Twenty-three minutes gone in this game. Referee John Bailey will have to add on, I'm sure, some moments for that delay early in the second half. So Shea Fleming will take this free here for a foul committed by Tomas O'Reardon. Vincent's man instructed to go back a couple of yards. So the wind has certainly picked up in strength here. Ball just gone out of play there. So the score, 112 to 213. A nicely taken score there from the Vincents to put them five points ahead of Ballyboden, 2.14 to 112. PJ, I'm sure, will be anxious to put these out now as quickly as possible. He's trying to search out Terry O'Neill. A free in there for the Ballyboden man. Referee saying a bit of climbing done there. So Tomas O'Reardon again will be called upon. Liam Hyland and Nicky Carey over there shouting in all types of instructions to the Bowden men. So Tomas steadies himself. Will he go for the score or will he drop it in? He's going for the score, I would suggest. Indeed he has. And has scored a lovely point from almost halfway. 
to put Ballyboden back 113 to St. Vincent's 214. So there's a goal and a point between the sides. Neem Highland giving all kinds of encouragement there from the sideline. Mustering his troops for another assault on the Vincent's goal. Ken Murray has it. Ken Murray doing tremendous battling there, yes, and, and pushed off the ball. Referee giving a free in to the Ballyboden men. Again, Tom Ross. Oh, Tom Ross got the a goal in it. Drop it into the square. John Hayes, the Tipperary veteran, standing on the square. Nelly O'Reilly and his brother. Niall takes a lovely score. That's well worth we have three of them on the field. Eamon playing a half back with his brother Niall on the far side and Tomas playing, well we don't know, we're not too sure where Tomas is. Bit of a roy of the Rovers. So the Bowden supporters right behind their team. There's only a goal in it. Plenty to play for, all to play for. Vincent's attacking. Ball delivered out there. That ball appears to have drifted off. No, in actual fact, the umpire signals a point. So, Vincent's have replied almost instantly. PJ with a book out. He'll be hoping to find the, the 40, the Vincent's 40. Indeed, he has. Stephen, Tony McGrath, Tony Mara, I should say, out to Tomas. Tomas pushed, appears to be pushed off that one. No. Referee says play on. Yes, indeed, it's gone off the Vincent's man over there on the far side of the pitch. Referee signals the sideline ball. Ali Bowden will be hoping to drop this in the danger zone. Ken Murray is coming up for this one. Terry O'Neill holding his position there, centre field. A nice ball, it's into the danger area, as we said. Terry. A dropping ball there, well taken by the Vincent's goal. Jack Russell out under this one. Two veterans there, Benny Ryan, Jack Russell, the referee sees a bit of pulling there from the Vincent's man on Benny Ryan, awarding a free in. Bally Bowden, I'm sure, will be anxious to drop this one in as far as possible on the Vincent's goal mount. McLaughlin came out there well on the Vincent's goal line, clearing effectively. So, Benny Ryan, I would suggest 45, 50 yards out. Dropping it in, that's a nice, that's a dangerous looking ball. Yes, indeed. And it's a penalty. A penalty. A penalty for... No, no, 21 yard free. A 21 yard free, no. Bally Bowden, who's going to take it? It looks like Stephen McGrath. Stephen, as we... As we know, is renowned for his accuracy when going for goal. Can Stephen lift the hearts of the Ballyboden men to put a point between them? Indeed it is. It is a penalty. I was quite correct. Referee John Bailey tells the Vincent's men to clear their lines. Stephen McGrath will take his time here. Cool, calm. Asking referee about the Vincent's men. Tomas in there in the midst of them. Stephen McGrath, he lifts. He strikes, and a brilliant save there, we'll have to say, from the Vincent's goalkeeper. Stephen McGrath hit it with power. And a bit of a melee over there again. Referee, I'm sure, will be giving the, the sideline, over on the sideline there. Yes, it's a throw-in, I would suggest, between the two. So, Shamey O'Neill stands in tight. So Ken Murray pulling again. So Eamon O'Reardon tearing out after this ball. Good covering there work by Eamon O'Reardon who's played reasonably well since he came on. And that's a lovely score one would have to say. A lovely score there from Stephen Loftus for St. Vincent's. 2-16 playing 1-14. PJ, anxious as ever to, for the puck out. 
mustering his forces for one final assault. Breaks on the 40. Vincent's not giving an inch in this. Benny leaving the foot there on Dalton, the referee allowing the free. He'll take his time, I'm sure, at this one. So we see a change in the valley Bowden. Brendan Marr moving out onto the half forward line. The half forward line of Stephen McGrath, Tomas O'Reilly, and Brendan Marr. Almost a complete change from the starting lineup. The full forward line. Shamie O'Neill, John Hayes. And Tomas O'Reardon, Tomas, Tomas drifting in there between the half and the full forward line. So there'll be, there's a bit of timber in there, all right. Stephen McGrath. Ball blocked out by Vincent's man for a 65. 216, Vincent's, 114, Bowden. Injury time and all. I would hope there would be about five minutes to go. So, Tomas, I'm sure, will be anxious to drop this one in. Searching out the hand for John Hayes. Just dropping on the 21 yard line. Bit of timber in there. Brendan Marr has it on his side. Taken off his stick almost by Vincent's man. There's a bit of a melee in there. Clipped up nicely by Brendan Marr. Again, taken by Vincent's man. Plenty of room here for Vincent's man. And the game is over. The game is over. St. Vincent's have won their 12th Dublin Senior County title, beating Buddy Bowden 114 to 216. Buddy Bowden will be, I'm sure, thoroughly disappointed, but while our greatest in defeat. These men congratulating and shaking hands with their opponents. Always a nice gesture at the end of a sporting game. So, Buddy Bowden, second time in the county final. Not disgraced by any measure of means. Goals early in the first half, destroying a lot of good work done by Bally Bowden. Bally Bowden led five points to one, and then came a crushing blow, a goal, a bad bounce, it must be said, beating PJ. And from there, Vincent's seemed to have their tails up. So shortly the presentation will be made to the captain of the Vincent's team who will accept it for his 12th time, Shay Fleming indeed. So the colours are out indeed for Ballyboden, however, not victorious in this time. They've done exceptionally well to reach this county final, beating Foggs by a replay, beating Whitehall Column Kills, and then beating our arch rivals and friends from not too far away, Kilmacud Croaks. It was a long wait for Ballyboden, a long wait indeed, almost two months. Perhaps on hindsight too long, but it's easy to be wise after a game. So the presentation taking place now, centre field, Dublin County Board, Chairman Philip Markey making the presentation. St Vincent's of course, we can't forget, been trained by the old maestro himself, Kevin Heffernan, who's led many a team to a famous victory. I'm sure he'd be quite happy with his charges tonight. The MC calling for a little bit of order. Oh, I know 
Philip Markey saying Ballyboden indeed will have another day, which I'm sure they will indeed. Congratulating a gallant and well worthy winner as I'm So while celebrations continue in the centre field there for Vincent's on the presentation of the Dublin County Championship, we'll have our own celebrations of a kind in Ballyboden later on this evening. Disappointed, I'm sure, but gracious in defeat as ever. People leave the ground. As usual, a rapturous welcome back to our clubhouse. Disappointment, I'm sure, for Paddy O'Neill, captain of this, a very gallant losing team of Bally Bowden. They fought hard, they fought well. And as Philip Markey, in the words of Philip Markey, we'll have another day, I'm sure we will. Yeah, well, I'd like to thank 